go to create your first campaign with Ignite, you will be given an option of a product from your product selection, or you can pick any product in your catalog. You'll click Create a Managed Campaign on the product that you wish to create. On step two, you're gonna tell Ignite what products you want. If the products that you want do not show up, you can change the item in the search, searching by either the keyword or the ASIN. I'm gonna add all of these, and you can see that since I have three different products, I'm actually being told what the price is and what the past 30 day sales are. This is very helpful in identifying which products you wanna to add to sponsored ads. Now that I've added them, they show up on the right and I click next. On step three, you're going to create a campaign name. You're going to set your target A cost, which is your advertising cost of sale. This is the percentage that Amazon, that Ignite is going to use to manage your Amazon campaign. You then have a choice to either create an auto targeted campaign or not create an auto targeted campaign. For this example, I'm gonna to choose to not create an auto-targeted campaign. I have the choice to create a manual targeted campaign or connect it to an existing one. But since I do not have any existing manual targeted campaigns, I'm gonna create a new one. Now I need to set a daily budget. This is the total amount that I want spent on this campaign. Since I'm starting new, I'm gonna just start with a $10 campaign and now I'll click next. Step four is the creation of my ad group. The creation of ad group has two options. I can do the Ignite suggested ad group, which is going to give me one ad group for broad, one for phrase, and one for exact, or I can manually define my ad groups. I'm gonna use Ignite suggested campaigns and set a default bid of 50 cents because I'm just getting started. I can always adjust my bids later. The next step is to add keywords. Since I already told Ignite which ASINs I want to include in my campaign, it automatically went and pulled data from Seller Labs tool Scope. You can see that it is pre-selecting certain keywords to add to broad and it's pre-selecting certain keywords to not add. The intelligence of our keyword adding tool removes keywords that are duplicates. Let me give you an example. Apple Core Slicer Peeler is a duplicate, and it's a duplicate because I already have keywords in my selection that cover the word Apple, Core, Slicer, and Peeler. To make my data as rich as possible from Amazon for impressions, I want to eliminate duplicate keywords. Therefore, Scope and Ignite do this for you. You may want to also look for words that do not have anything to do with what your product does. For instance, if my apple slicer only cuts eight slices, I don't want an apple slicer 16 or an apple slicer 12. After looking through these terms, I know that I'm ready to go. I'm gonna come through and hit add selected keywords. And now it's going to take me to the confirmation page. On the confirmation page, I see my campaign name, my target AOS, my products that I'm advertising, my default budget, $10, my default bid, 50 cents, my three ad groups that I'm creating, broad, phrase, and exact, and the keywords that I've selected. I'm now gonna create my campaign and I'm ready to go. All of this information is passed from Ignite directly into Amazon sponsored ads. You'll wanna give your campaign 48 hours to be populated with impression information from Amazon.